From the earliest conception of strategic bombing, there has existed a requirement never previously fulfilled for fighter protection of bombers when over the target area. Now it appears bombers may tow two jet fighters to the target and back virtually without reducing their radius of action. This recent development of the Air Materiel Command paves the way for fighter escort protection and the solution to this heretofore unsolved problem. Here, the coupling mechanisms were installed using one B-29 and two F-84 fighters for the initial tests. Lances, one mounted on the right wing tip of the F-84 and one on the left wing tip of another, were designed to fit into retractable sockets mounted on each wing tip of a B-29 bomber. The lance enters the socket on the wing tip of the B-29 and automatically locks in place. While the lance head is locked relative to the B-29 socket, the F-84 can roll about the lance shaft. A mechanical connection between the lance shaft and the F-84 ailerons functions automatically to restore the fighter to normal flight position if any displacement in roll occurs. A sponge rubber bumper was provided to make a tight seal between the wing tips of the two airplanes. The normal position for engagement is with the socket extended 19 inches. Thus projected out of the major portion of the B-29's wingtip vortex, it enables the fighter pilot to effect a coupling more easily. These modifications increase the gross weight of the B-29 by 700 pounds. However, only local reinforcement of the wings was determined necessary. The accompanying animated diagrams illustrate the principle of the floating wingtip mechanism and how it operates in flight. After the bomber has extended its socket, the fighter approaches the bomber and inserts its lance into the socket. The socket depresses a small button on the leading edge of the fighter wing. The button actuates a switch which causes the tip of the lance to rotate 90 degrees inside the socket. This locks the fighter to the bomber in tow. Since the lance is oval in cross-section, it cannot rotate within the socket. The socket is then retracted, drawing the fighter wing tightly against the bomber wing. The rubber bumper along the bomber wing tip seals the air gap between the two wings. On July 21, 1950, the first B-29 bomber to be equipped with the new floating wing tip mechanisms took off the runway for a coupling test with an F-84 fighter. On this date, Major C.E. Anderson of Air Materiel Command's Flight Test Division made the first successful coupling to the wingtip of the B-29. Four successful couplings were made this day. The average time to couple varied from 2 to 10 minutes, and the total couple time was 30 minutes. On July 30, 1950, Captain J.M. Davis, also of the Flight Test Division, successfully coupled to the left wing of the B-29. During this flight, Captain Davis experienced a partial loss of aileron boost, but still was able to effect two couplings with some difficulty. Several more couplings were successfully accomplished by both the left and right fighters individually in order to gain more pilot experience. On August 22, 1950, both fighters were simultaneously coupled to the B-29 for the first time. Data from these tests indicate that two F-84 aircraft could be towed by a B-29 carrying 10,000 pounds bomb load with a reduction in range of only 2.9%. Several changes are now being made which will result in an operational combination. The original installation was designed to obtain data over relatively short flights. Therefore, no provisions were made to change the relative angle of pitch between the three airplanes. It was discovered during the flight test program that the mechanical system of controlling the position of the fighters in roll is marginal. Here they will uncouple from the bomber. They will be free to escort the bomber into the target area and out again. They may do individual reconnaissance missions. 
Once out of the target area, they will recouple to the bomber for the tow home. It should be borne in mind that this installation was designed for test purposes to provide engineering data and not considered at this time to be a prototype installation.